Hey my loves, as many of you probably know, coffee is right at the top of my food pyramid. It is an absolute essential in my life. And as the summer months are approaching, it's always great to cool things down with some tasty iced coffee recipes. This year I've got five brand new iced coffee ideas that I think you guys are going to love. We're gonna kick things off today with a vanilla bean iced coffee. As with any great iced coffee recipe, this one starts with some coffee. Now I just made my coffee a day in advance and chilled it in the refrigerator overnight. It's always nice to wake up and have the coffee already chilled, am I right? To that, I'm adding some milk. I'm using dairy milk in this recipe, but of course, almond milk, coconut milk, or soy milk would work as great substitutions. I'm also adding a little bit of simple syrup for sweetness. Now, simple syrup is really simple to make. You just basically combine some sugar and some water in a saucepan on the stove and heat it over medium-low heat until the sugar dissolves completely. What you end up with is a liquid sweetener that is great added to ice drinks. So we're going to add a splash or two of simple syrup and then it's time to add our vanilla. Now of course you always have the option to use some vanilla extract, but in this case I want to make things extra delicious, so I am going to be slicing a vanilla bean in half and then removing some of the seeds. Admittedly, vanilla beans can be on the expensive side, so you may want to save this iced coffee for a special occasion. Vanilla extract is a much more affordable option if you want a similar flavor on a smaller budget. Now, of course, you have the option to stir this. That's always fine. But I am a shake girl, and what you end up with is an incredible vanilla bean iced coffee that will just make your morning so much better. Next up, we are making an incredible salted caramel iced coffee. Now, in this case, I am using store-bought caramel sauce, but if you wanna go ahead and make your own, I have a recipe for that. I will link it in the description box below, so you can take a look for it there. Now, what I'm going to do is actually pour my caramel into some hot coffee and then chop it with a little sprinkle of salt. And then I'm just going to put on the lid and shake this coffee until that caramel has had a chance to dissolve. There you have it, salted caramel iced coffee. Now you'll notice I didn't add any extra milk to this coffee, you definitely had the option to do so, but I was really saving myself for some whipped cream topping. Next, I am making a wickedly good coffee Nutella breakfast smoothie. And yes, it's just what it sounds like, and it's gonna be delicious. Now last year, I made a whole video dedicated to coffee breakfast smoothies. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you do. They are a really, really delicious way to start your day. In this case, I've got a blender full of ice happening. To that, I'm going to add some brewed coffee that I've just chilled overnight. I'm also adding some milk, a banana for creaminess, and a few spoonfuls of delicious Nutella. I was just checking to make sure it was good. Then you can put on your lid, give it a blend, and what you end up with is breakfast with a pretty serious kick. Next, I've got a great way to spice up your morning. It is a cinnamon almond iced coffee. In this case, I am starting once again with my simple syrup, but I'm going to take it a step further by infusing it with a cinnamon stick, so I end up with cinnamon simple syrup. It is really, really flavorful stuff. I definitely recommend you make a little extra. All right, to make my cinnamon almond iced coffee, I'm basically starting with some cold coffee over ice. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk as well as a splash of almond extract. You can usually find this in the baking aisle at your supermarket, but if you can't find it, not to worry, you could sub in some coconut extract. That would be really good as well. Finally, I'm going to add a splash or two of my cinnamon simple syrup and give this all a good shake. And there you have it, a nice light iced coffee recipe for a beautiful summer morning. Finally, for something a lot more decadent, I wanna show you an incredible blended s'more iced coffee. Now, of course, this is just what it sounds like, all of the yumminess of s'mores except in a frosty blended coffee drink. What is not to like about that? I'm starting with my blender full of ice. To that, I'm going to add some chilled coffee and some milk, and then things are going to get exciting. So I've got some chocolate sauce. I've got some marshmallow 
fluff. Come on! <laughs> and finally, I am going to break in a few graham crackers. Pop on the lid, blend this beauty up, and then top it, of course, with some more marshmallow fluff. Oh, you're gonna want some more when you try this. Let me tell you. Guys, I really hope you will give these delicious iced coffee recipes a try. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because of course I love seeing your creations. If you are an iced coffee lover like me, be sure to check out last year's iced coffee video. It's got five more delicious ways to get your iced coffee on in the morning. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from. Caffeinated deliciousness, my favorite kind.